Google tried, and seemingly failed, to encourage people to wear miniature screens on its Google Glass headsets. But a firm in Japan still believes such wearable technology can be popular if the display is replaced by a laser. By bypassing the front of the wearer's eye, the laser in the QD laser glasses project the light from an image straight onto their retina. And the glasses could be available by the end of next year. The company started developing the product around three years ago, in collaboration with the University of Tokyo. The latest of these was a demonstration in Osaka at the first Medical IT Solutions Expo of Medical Japan. The glasses work by overriding the function of the lens and other associated eye parts by shining little lasers through the iris and projecting an image directly on the retina. This will mean people with problems on the outer parts of their eyes, for example, would be able to see with the glasses. The glasses are safe because the amount of light coming from the mini lasers is no more than what would enter people's eyes in normal conditions. Working prototypes have already been created and tested. There are people with visual impairment who are called low vision, are not blind but have difficulty to see, even with corrective glasses some of these people have disorders in the anterior region of eyes, with functional retina. We expect that the device will work well with those people he added. In addition, we are also working with a next-generation device that will be suitable for people with retinopathy, damage with retina. The device could also substitute normal glasses but the company does not expect it to be used for that. However, in the near future, the device can be used as a smart glass by everyone, for augmented reality, the firm continued. The retinal imaging laser eyewear is going to be marketed as a medical device but will also be sold as an augmented devices, a blend of virtual reality and real life. The glasses are focus-free which means they will work on anyone independent of their abilities to focus with their eyes. They are much less bulky than other virtual reality devices because the technology is hidden inside, although they are still bulkier than ordinary glasses. The company are hoping to work on reducing their size. Getting them to the market is a long process because of the regulation that needs to be met for medical devices. We have to get an approval as a medical device from corresponding authorities to sell the device, since the primary purpose of the device is low vision support, Miyake said. We are in the course of the process in Japan, US, and EU. The company is unsure exactly when the glasses will be available but hope it will not be later than the end of next year. The price is not decided yet, but it would be several thousand U.S. dollars, Miyake said.